All right, Mr. Food's got a good one for us today. It sounds like we're using apples, and those are getting in season right now. Yes, and they're good apparently for digestion. Let's check in with them now. <laughs> he said it. The dish we're making today was taken on an orbit around the moon, aids in our digestion, and is a favorite of all ages. So let me show you how to whip up an easy homemade applesauce that you can enjoy without ever leaving the atmosphere. We start by peeling, coring, and chunking up about eight apples. As far as the kind of apples to use, I suggest picking up an assortment. That way, your applesauce will have a great depth of flavor. These go into a pot over medium heat, along with some apple juice or cider, a bit of brown sugar, and a stick of cinnamon. After it comes to a boil, lower the heat, cover it, and let it simmer. Make sure you stir it occasionally so everything cooks evenly. As for how long to cook it, well, that depends on how chunky or smooth you like it. Personally, I love chunky applesauce. Once it's done, you can use your homemade applesauce to dress up everything from pork chops to potato pancakes. Or you can eat it as is, which is my favorite. To get this budget-friendly recipe, all you have to do is check out our website and look for Chunky Cinnamon Applesauce. I'm Howard with Kelly in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen, where today we found a cinnamon-kissed way for you to say, ooh, it's so good. Mm -hmm. Delicious. Mm -hmm. Kelly ooh. always reaps the benefits. I yeah, Kelly's got it good over there. That, that would be awesome just to pop in there and be able to taste everything. That would be good. And that's a fallish recipe, right? Love it. Although... Uh -oh. And I bet you some folks at home, here you go, crock pot applesauce, have you ever done that? No. And it cooks like all day. Your house smells divine. It is the most delicious thing. People, know, people at home, I'm sure, know what I'm talking about. All right. It's a thing. Mrs. Food.com. Oh, wait. <laughs>